This is Twit. WordPress, as I promised at the top of the show, once again in the news for their ultimate member plugin, or maybe it's ultimate dismember. Um, uh, if you haven't yet been convinced by listening to me in the last few weeks to sequester any WordPress instance so that its takeover cannot harm you further, here's another few reasons to consider either sequestering it or maybe evicting it completely. Three separate supercritical flaws exist within another highly popular WordPress add-on known as Ultimate Member. They have CVSS severity ratings of 10, 10, <laughs> and 9.9, .9, each out of 10, of course. And the Ultimate Member plugin is installed on more than 100,000 WordPress sites. Each of the three critical security bugs allows for privilege elevation leading to full control over a WordPress site. The plugin allows, what, like the reason you have it, uh, is it allows web admins to add user profiles and membership areas to their WordPress sites. And according to WordFence researchers, the security guys, the flaws make it possible for both authenticated and unauthenticated attackers to elevate their privileges during registration to allow them admin status. Whoops. And of course, once an attacker has admin status on a WordPress site, they've effectively taken over the entire site and can perform any action they like from taking the site offline to further infecting the site with additional malware. So I'm not going to bother delving into all the details about each of the three vulnerabilities because I think that a broader point needs to be made. We've seen that the hacker community tends to focus on one category or another from time to time. For a while, earlier this year, RDP was under attack. Uh, earlier than that, it was the router botnets attacking the authentication, the web authentication of routers. And tomorrow it'll be something else. But the recent evidence suggests that WordPress plugins have been enjoying a period up until recently of relative quiet and under examination by that nefarious community. Um, it feels like the, that community has recently awakened to just how much low hanging fruit has been growing while their attention has been directed elsewhere. Last week, a security vulnerability in the Wellcart e-commerce plugin was found to be opening WordPress sites to code injection. This led to payment skimmers being installed, crashing of the site, or information retrieval via SQL injection. Last month, two high-severity high vulnerabilities were disclosed in PostGrid, another WordPress plugin with more than 60,000 installations. It opened the door to site takeovers, and in September, a high severity flaw in the mail subscribers and newsletters plugin made by Icegram was found to affect more than 100,000 WordPress sites. In August, a plugin that adds quizzes and surveys to WordPress patched two critical vulnerabilities, which could be exploited by remote unauthenticated attackers to launch a variety of attacks, including full site takeover. Also that month in August, the newsletter WordPress plugin with more than 300,000 installations was discovered to have a pair of vulnerabilities leading to code execution and site takeover. And before that, in July, researchers warned of a critical vulnerability in a WordPress plugin called Comments WP Discuss, which is installed on more than 70,000 websites. The flaw gave unauthenticated attackers the ability to upload arbitrary files, including PHP, and ultimately execute remote code on vulnerable website servers. I said before that WordPress is dem demonstrably a PHP-coded disaster and that the tantalizing WordPress plugin ecosystem, which is, I'm sure, a large part of WordPress's allure 
is also a hot mess. It's impractical to tell people not to use it. I get that. That is not to use WordPress. But I don't, uh, but I, but don't, I would say to people, don't run a WordPress instance on your Drobo. I, I, I sort of chuckle when I see that in, in, its, in its menu of options. It's like, oh, yeah, let's run WordPress on our Drobo and install a bunch of, of add-ons. What could possibly go wrong? Um, or, for that matter, on any machine that has access to anything else. That's what I talk about sequestration. Um, you know, depending upon how many tasty-looking goodies you add to your WordPress installation over time, there is a high likelihood of local site compromise sooner or later. That means that containment is the best you can hope for. So please consider it. If you, if you have WordPress running somewhere, somehow arrange a sandbox, contain it, put it on, put it on its own server, um, hook it up to a, a separate port on your, on your uh, router that you're able to firewall so that if anything gets loose in it, it can't get loose on your network. Do something. You know, don't install it side by side on a server with a bunch of other stuff there. That's just asking for trouble.